What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com continuing our series on learning SketchUp in 30 days by talking about how we can use photo textures inside of SketchUp. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so texturing of photos can be really helpful for a lot of different things. Um, so one of the things that you can do is you can use it to quickly generate models of buildings without having to model a whole bunch of detail yourself. So like for example, I've got a building that I took a picture of that I wanna create a quick model of using a photo. And so I don't wanna to have to model out all this extra detail because it's just gonna be kind of a context thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use photo textures in order to get all the proportions right. So I will say that I did also scan this building with Polycam, um, which I talked about before, but this is basically a 3D model of this building that I can use in order to figure out things like widths. So for example, if I was to measure from this back corner over here, I know that my building's about 22 feet wide by 12 feet high on the side, and then I've got the top. So that's enough information for me to get started. So I'm going to do a 22 foot wide line right here. So 22 feet. And then I may also have the length in here. I think I do. So I should be able to measure from this end right here. And it looks like the building's about, we're gonna call it 40 feet long. Um, we're not trying to be super precise here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rough out the base right here. And then from there, and so I'm gonna push pull this up extra tall. Then I'm gonna draw a line in here. It's gonna be 12 feet. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a texture to this surface um, using that photo um, in order to basically rough out the sides of our buildings real quick. So to do that, I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna do a import image. And I'm gonna go find my image. And I'm gonna import it as a material. Now I will say I'm not 100% sure if this is a uh, free only feature or not. I'm a little unclear on where the free features end in here. Um, but what I wanna do is I just want to place this on this surface right here. It doesn't really matter how tall because we're gonna place this image anyway using the, sketch, the texture placement tools. So if I look at this, the first thing I wanna do is I wanna right click in here, go into my texture, and I wanna do a position. And so position is going to pop up something that probably initially looks something like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna right click on this. I'm gonna flip this. And I'm gonna rotate it 180 degrees right here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to place it on this surface. And so to do that, what I need to do is I need to stretch this so that it fits, right? And so the way that we can do that is there are some pins in here right now. You see the pins that are in here that allow you to kind of adjust the size of things. They're not especially helpful in this particular situation. What we want is to right click on this and go into fixed pins mode. And so when we go into fixed pins mode, what that's gonna do is that's gonna give us four pins that we can single click on and place on the corners of our building. So once you place those on the corners of your building, like this, what this is gonna allow you to do is it's gonna allow you to click and drag the image so that it aligns with your surface. And remember we drew a line up that was 12 feet high over here. We're gonna go find that point on the wall. And so when I find that point on the wall, and then I draw this one over here, and I might just do an enter, and I might draw a 12 foot line over here, so that I've got two of them. And I'll just drag that up so that it aligns. What we've got is we've got a texture image on this surface that we can now use for inferencing. So now I can come in here and I can draw, and I can draw lines to these points right here. And then I can remove all of this additional material. And I'm just gonna use the push pull tool in order to do that. And so what that did is that allowed me to model out a surface that pretty much aligns right here. Now you've got a little bit of overhang, which is going to happen if you get anything from like that corner view or anything like that, but we can use this in order to really quickly detail out a context model. And so then I've got another photo that I'm gonna import over here. All right, so then we'll import this one on this other surface, we'll do the same thing, right? So you're gonna go into your texture and you're gonna do a position. And then I'm gonna go ahead and rotate this 180 degrees. And I'm gonna start using my fixed pins in order to place this. So this is easier now because we have the shape of our building roughed out. So now we just have to come in here and set our points and then just click and drag in order to place them on your face 
like this. And then I'm going to hit the enter key in order to finish that. And then from there, you can come in here and you can do things like modeling out your roof. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball the thickness on this. I'm not going to go through and model out the uh, shed roof coming off the side or anything like that for this video. Um, but what I am going to do is I'm going to go ahead and push, pull this out a little bit on the end. Then I'll do the same thing on this back side here. Well, then I'm going to erase out these edges, but I'm going to sample this texture and apply it to this surface right here. And I'm just going to right click on it and do the same thing where I position the texture. And then we'll just drag these so that they align with this surface right here. And so you can also combine the photo textures with other textures in the library right here. And again, I'm just doing quick context here, so I'm not worrying too much about the details, um, but you can come in here and let's say you want like a white roof, for example, you can apply this roofing material to your roof um, to go with all of this. And then you could come in here and you could adjust that material, right? So we can go back in here, we can select this material and we can edit it. I'm not sure if the editing is allowed on the free version um, or not, to be honest with you. I, I don't know if that's included in the free version or not, but you can use this in order to quickly add like a roof texture in here with no problems as well. All right, so you can use this not only for modeling like we did over here, but also for texturing. So I wanted to show you a quick tip on something that might make your life a little bit easier though. So um, let's say that we have a box right here. So this is just a box from a power strip that I bought. And what I wanna do is I wanna use it in order to texture out this surface, right? So I've got a picture of it. I'm gonna do the same thing with position texture. And so I'm just gonna click and drag it like this in order to place that texture on the side of the box. However, since I took like six different pictures of this, it can be a little bit time consuming to um, bring those all in as separate textures, right? So one thing you might think about doing is using a photo editing program. It doesn't really matter which one you use. I might use like Canva, for example, and I might just take all of those images and upload them to Canva and then put them all on one sheet right here so that I have all of my textures in one place. So I've got all of my textures on one document image now. Well, now if I download that and bring it into SketchUp, and I think this is called a texture atlas, but now if I import that image and bring it in as its own material, like this, I only have to import one texture and then I can position it on each face, right? So I could do a position here. But then instead of me having to import a new image, I can just sample this one and place it on the end and then do another position texture without having to import a separate image and manage all of that. I can just get it all on one sheet and then place it just like this. So if you have any questions about anything we talked about in this video, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. I will link to the next video in this series as soon as it's ready to go on this page. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.